Alright guys, so you've probably seen our bike setup video for our bike trains. Uh, we have since added one new family member, a new infant, and so we're just going to show you an uh, updated version of what we're doing. Alright guys, so if we're just doing a really, really short trip, then we'll have one on the balance bike, one on this bike, soon to be one on a little bit larger bike, and then we'll take the yellow trailer with Kelly's and my bikes. Super long trips right now, um, because we have not got the larger bike for our oldest yet, which is in the works. On the long trips, our seven-year-old, he'll be riding the green one behind Kelly, and he helps pedal quite a bit. The four-year-old and the two-year-old are going to be on the red we who i go to uh the four-year-old does pedal and when he pedals it helps when he doesn't pedal i'm still pulling the weight so and then our newborn is here in the yellow burly b and here's how we are going to set that up all right guys so this is how we secure this is how we secure the car seat in um right here these two places right here these are built to use the lap or shoulder belt in your car so we use the same as we put it in the trailer we use the lap belt here and secure it down in the same holds as you use in your car mm -hmm. and then here on the side we have one that goes inside the handle here and comes down and buckles and then we tighten that down and that keeps it from rocking side to side and we do that on both sides and the reason that we are okay with this is these are aluminum bars. We have this up. This also works as a bar. Aluminum bar here. We have aluminum bars down here. And then up here you can see that these are aluminum bars. So basically this is an aluminum roll cage. Now we wait, Kelly and I, we wait until our children has very good net control before we even put them in here. Then when we first do put them in here, we will ride on something like this, a flat paved parking lot where there's no cars. We'll ride on a flat greenway that's paved with uh, maybe some bike traffic, maybe some foot traffic, but no cars. And we'll do that for a month or so until we're very comfortable and we know that the infant is comfortable. The way that we have him strapped into this trailer, there's no different from him being strapped into the vehicle. Um, while we use this, we only stay on smooth terrain. We will not do single track. We won't go do bumpy. Even if it's just dirt or gravel, we won't do that. Even if there's no cars there, we won't do that. Once our infant is out of the car seat and can sit up and has very good head control, then we will move him to the back seat here. This is the Wii Hoo Igo 2, and they have a three-point harness in, and they're sitting. Oh, so the no longer newborn, the toddler, will be in the back seat here. We will move our two-year-old to the front of the red trailer so he can now pedal. Our four-year-old will move to the green trailer so he can start helping getting balance as well. And our oldest will be on his own um, right now, it looks like it's going to be a 24 inch, 21 or 24 inch mountain bike himself. So we're, this is what we're doing now and we're going to make the transition. Um, when the kids are ready to make that transition, we'll make that transition. So this, this is the new update with all six of us. So this is our family of six bike train set up. Thanks for watching guys. We are on to the next adventure.